It's time where we meet our latest furry friend. This is Ziva this morning, and uh, she's been brought in by, mm -hmm. uh, not only there's a uh, foster parent outside, uh -huh. and uh, of course, uh, Jen Duckworth with Paul's is here every week to bring us various animals that need a, a forever home. This, our latest one, and it's the oddest poodle I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Very beautiful poodle, right? eyes, though, yeah. too. I wish, if she'll sit still, we can get like a shot of her eyes close up. Very intimidating eyes. Yeah. And then you and I were singing Annie. She reminds me of Sandy mm -hmm. from Annie. Yeah, so, she looks a lot like Sandy. So give us her story a little bit. So Zeba, that's the name that she came with, is a husky poodle mix. She was um, owned and taken care of by a man. He had some unfortunate things happen in his life. So she went to go and stay with his with her old auntie, and um, now she's with Paws. So she's never really been in despair. She had love around her the whole time. She's always she been loved. A nice segue family, and now we have a foster family that's taking <laughs> mm -hmm. care of her. And how long have they, uh, they had her? They've had her for about four months. Okay. And, and how old is she? She's two. She's kind of slow climbing up And this here. is about as big as she'll get. Yeah, she might fill out some, but being a um, poodle and a husky, she looks fluffy. <laughs> she's so fluffy. She's she a little bigger than dog. Jim. She probably doesn't she know her son. Yes. <laughs> there is a little crevice in the front lobby that we've lost some puppies through. That they've snuck through and no, gotten... She can't make it through there. She tried, but she couldn't make it. <laughs> no. She's so precious. Yeah. So, um, so she's up for adoption. Yeah. Tell us about what it's been, um, what you guys have been up to. I know there's been several events. Mm -hmm. uh, is Paul's doing anything this weekend? Yeah. Uh, this weekend, we've got two adoption events going on. So we will be at PetSmart, and then we'll also be at Give a Dog a Bone. Okay. Um, and I think that's nice because Give a Dog a Bone is a little bit smaller. It's a little bit of a quieter facility. Is that on Virginia Street? It oh, is. I'm okay. Business in here, You're right. getting this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so, um, oh, you knocked it oh, out of my Oh, she's got to get hand. down and get her treat now. She knocked it out of my hand. Dogs are unpredictable. Um, so, Give a Dog a Bone is nice because, one, they, they do help us quite a bit. They're a smaller mm -hmm. facility, so the dogs aren't as high anxiety in that And space. they're local, too, I believe. Yes, they are. It's a local franchise, so that's owned by a local family. So Tell us about nice. the uh, felines you have in your care right now, too. We've got quite a few. Um, we've had um, a lot of surrenders mm -hmm. for things like that. Um, but we do, we have such good luck with our cats, and we don't highlight them enough, but we have such a good cat foster. She, <laughs> she's like, hey, There's look, pet food center. Up there, I promise. <laughs> oh, she recognized the logo, perhaps. Well, yes. They do help us. Um, but we also have um, a couple of other big events coming up. We've got Woof Fest, which you'll oh. start seeing little bits more. So if you want to help with that, you can always reach out to us. We need vendors. We need sponsors. When is that? Um, that is, I will have to tell you the final date. I think okay. it's in October. Gotcha. And when um, were the two, the times for the events this um, weekend? We're 10 to 2. 10 to 2. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. So very yeah. different ones. We're going to try to get her eyes here. I mean, they are just so beautiful. Like, they're very rare looking. Yes. You said she's husky and poodle. Husky and poodle. She, to me, looks like a Muppet dog. Yes. Like, yes. she looks like the dog at the beginning of Fraggle Rock. And she just looks like like a puppet. She's, she's so cute. And she's good with the the family that she's in. She's good with the kids. She's good with the other dogs. She's almost completely potty trained. You know, she's too. Well, my next question was, what kind of environment um, is she? You know, good indoors and outdoors. Mm -hmm. um, an active family, not active family. What do you, What do you think? She's gonna need an active family because with a husky and poodle, they have a lot of energy. Mm -hmm. She's gonna and she's gonna need some grooming because yeah. uh, all of this fur, <laughs> you would think that she sheds just a lot but, she's but so she strong. because she's part poodle she doesn't shed as bad as you think she would i mean there's hardly any hair coming and a dog right like now, this girl. i mean we've had extremely hot temperatures the past week and uh -huh. a half i mean what's a dog like this go through you really can't keep a dog like this outside she needs long. to lay on your air conditioning then <laughs> <laughs> the whole thing I and wonder if, you if seen, she likes the pool. Have you seen an oh, uptick in surrenders does. in the past several weeks? Because I know that there'll be more reports a lot of times mm -hmm. of people, you know, a neighbor noticing a dog that's not yeah. getting uh, the proper amount of water or shade during a uh -huh. hot day. So they'll call in. And in this case, we've had a couple of reports in the last week by EPD. They, they respond to these uh, calls. And that's where the process begins a lot of times uh -huh. when we find not deceased animals, but the ones that still need care, yes. they get them rehabilitated. And then they're off to a shelter and then eventually, hopefully, in most mm -hmm. cases, to a foster home and ultimately into your home if you choose yes. to adopt. Now, you can ask, you can also go to uh, Paul's website, paws.org. I do this every week. We always try to post a photo <laughs> and a little bio about each of the dogs that we feature and then uh, put this uh, clip up so that you can watch it later <laughs> on.
in the hopes that these dogs, and we've had pretty good success, we, get adopted rather quickly. Yes, we have great success. I'm always surprised that I don't have our fosters just beating me to get to feature their dogs because she's so cute. We, we joked in the lobby, we wouldn't be surprised if we had a call for something before that we got off the air. Yeah, she which is, is what we hope for. Such a dream. And let us, um, let us talk a little bit about if someone was does want to take Zeba home today, mm -hmm. Uh, the partnership with Pet Food Center that we have yes. right now, too. So, uh, more Ziba, treats. Yes, right, more Ziba treats. gets more treats. And she was so, I don't know if you paid attention to how gentle she was taking it out of my hand because I didn't let go of it. And she, I felt her teeth, but there was not the slightest bit of oh, unpleasantry oh, in that. Um, <laughs> but with Pet Food Center, you get your Pet Food Center pack, you get a bag of food, you get a couple of treats, you get some age appropriate toys. So, she would be a good chewer, probably. She does. And you, it's about this big, and that goes home to everyone who adopts one of the animals that we feature on Furry Friend Friday. And they're different because obviously if you have smaller uh -huh. animals or bigger animals, they're, uh, they're helpful with that uh, gift bag there, too. Yes. All right, so we want to thank Jen Duckworth, as thank well as you, your uh, foster family that's out in the, the oh. lobby waiting for Zeba. Zeba. Which you can see on the profile, paws.org or if you're interested yes. in uh, zebra or any other animal that's currently in the care of those foster families. Griffin Glasscock setting us up for a forecast that you don't want to take your dog outside.